All right, Houston, we have a problem. We have a real problem. We're in, uh, obviously, uh, quarantine or lockdown at the moment. Not quarantine, but lockdown. Yeah. What have you done? You've put all that in there. Do you know how valuable that is? Do you know how valuable that is? <laughs> you little frog. What have you done? <laughs> yay! Yay! Yay, silly sausage! What are we going to do? We're going to shower after the toilet. I need the shower. That was the last of our toilet paper. Oh. So I've had a couple of questions about my social media Strava and uh, and Instagram and stuff and what's happened to it. I, I thought I'd go on like a month to two month detox completely from all social media. And what I ended up doing was deleting altogether my Instagram. I deleted my Facebook page, Strava, and my Strava group, and also Twitter. After about three weeks, I sort of couldn't live without Twitter, especially with the coronavirus going on, I wanted to keep on top of the news and stuff. So I started up another Twitter account, but I want to keep that private, just just no followers, no, I'm following a few people that I like, but I like to stay ahead of the, the political side of things. The only thing I've really kept is my YouTube channel, and uh, and hence that's my way of just sort of staying connected with, uh, with you guys. Ready? Let's go. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, oh look at that! Put it in your bucket! Put it in your bucket! Boy! Oh. <laughs> I'm actually on a diet at the moment. I'm trying to, this is about my 750th attempt at having going on a diet. So I'm trying not to eat these chocolates today. Good luck. Yeah, good luck. Good luck with that. I just thought I'd do a bit of an update video. Uh, I've got the little Jack man in the background here playing quietly, but since you guys last saw him, he has grown up considerably. And, um, and uh, he had his birthday actually in February. <laughs> Look, it's got the piggy and the sheep and the cow on it. Boy, what is it? Birthday. It's a bus. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Good boy, now you're going to blow it out. Yeah, Can don't you? touch it. Can blow you go it. like this? This, uh, this sounds like that time that you uh, caught Yelly. my, caught my um, I did a deadlift and Hannah was there to actually, uh, no, I did a back squat and I dropped it, the weight, and Hannah was there to catch the, I'll show you the footage. 165. Keep going, keep going. Oh. <gasps> something so satisfying about growing your own food yeah like seeing it each day it grows yeah like hey, hey. look at that jack we'll pick some basil too ready people put it in your bucket 
put it in the bowl. Good boy. We have some really exciting news for us uh, as well. And I just thought I'd let you guys know that a long time followers of the videos. Uh, we are expecting later this year another little human to come into our world. So Hannah's fairly well down the line pregnant now with a little girl. Hannah's had morning sickness all day, all night. Haven't you? Mm -hmm. Like she's, for the last, two, what, three months, two months? Mm -hmm. She's been so no. sick every day. The hilarious thing is she's been so sick so frequently that Jack has started imitating her. Are you okay? Are you sick? So with this whole coronavirus situation, it is pretty mental. What do you reckon, Jack? Should we get some toilet paper? Personally, I'm quite fortunate uh, with, my, with my industry, but there are a lot of people in Australia who've lost their jobs and are not working. And I, I couldn't imagine the stress of the coronavirus coupled with financial stress. And I think the biggest concern for me out of all of this is the mental health issues that are going to ensue from from the coronavirus. I mean, obviously, it's a very stressful time. I've been suffering from terrible anxiety, haven't I, Hannah? Hannah's just sitting here behind the screen. And um, and so, so you know, I'm sort of on, on top of it. I think you've got to try your best to stay away from mainstream media, uh, exercise as much as you can, depending on where you are in the world, will uh, really... Uh, dictate what you do whether you're doing home workouts or you can still go for a ride I know in France the French police are checking Strava for people out riding and finding them but here in Australia you can still go for a ride normally this little stretch here when you ride along South Bank through the city and go for a ride, there are humans everywhere. Like it's almost impossible to enjoy a ride through the city. And as you can see, there is tumbleweeds. Police have actually turned people away from the beaches in uh, Melbourne. And you can see this is the Golden Princess over here over my shoulder. It was a, a cruise ship that was turned away from New Zealand. New Zealand are a little bit more stringent with their their rules so they uh, they turn them away and they've docked here in Melbourne and uh, the passengers passengers have been told they're not allowed to leave so apparently there's no coronavirus suspects on the boat but even still uh, the passengers aren't allowed to leave all right legend so we're down the park with Jack at the moment he's got a new bike a little blue pedal bike he was doing really well on his balance bike and I thought you know what I'll try him on the blue bike on the little specialized pedal bike so uh, how do you think you're going with it? How are you going with it? Well, I think you're struggling a bit. Hi, Dad. But that's to be expected. He's not really loving it at the moment. He's sort of... He didn't love his balance bike when we first got it. No, he didn't love the balance bike when he first tried that either. So so we'll try it out a few times. He's not but, loving you know, it because... We, just, he... we just force him every day and then we'll eventually force him. he becomes I've got a whip at home. And, and I've got a whip at home, so I'll we'll just, just start spanking him with it. Yeah. That's what I use for Hannah when she's out of, out of line. Yeah, so that's it, Legends. I just wanted to touch base with you guys, say good day. It's been a long time since we made a video, so, and just let you know the, uh, the goss and the news, the good news. As I say, the mental health side of things is probably my biggest concern for, when I think about other people, I think, I hope everyone stays positive, stays away from the media as much as possible, and, um, and look after yourselves and just enjoy the time with your family. Yummy. Kisses. Ah, night night.